You're Premier, when you head to, when you head, follow up, sorry. I, it's unrelated, but I'd like to know when you plan to head to Texas, if you plan to meet with anyone in the Trump administration to ensure that uh, Keystone XL is unencumbered or perhaps even speeding up the timeline. Well, uh... Key and Bexty for Rebel News in Alberta's capital. Jason Kenney is delivering his State of the Province address to the Edmonton Chamber of Commerce and he's about to come downstairs and speak with media. And I have a question for him. I want to know why his government just appointed Margaret McQuaid Boyd. You might remember her. She's the one that told Albertans to go to BC if they don't like how her government operates. She's the one who was Notley's chief carbon tax proponent, her royalty review proponent, someone who is the definition of anti-Alberta. She led the war on Albertan jobs. And Kenny's government just appointed her as the head of the Credit Union Deposit Guarantee Corporation. It's a crown corporation here in Alberta. I'm going to ask Kenny why he did that. Premier, why would your government appoint Rachel Notley's chief carbon tax proponent as the head of the Credit Union Deposit Guarantee Corporation, Mar Margaret McQuaid Boyd? Well, I don't think she's at the head. I think she was appointed to the board. Um, and we are uh, going to try to, uh, in our appointments to agencies, boards, and commissions, include people who come from uh, different partisan backgrounds if they're qualified for the job um, to demonstrate this is a government for all Albertans. Uh, the uh, credit, credit union oversight body has nothing to do with carbon taxes and uh, it's about oversight to, to ensure that those credit unions are, uh, are being properly managed from a financial point of view. Uh, and Ms. McQuaid Boyd um, is a former Minister of Energy uh, and uh, while we don't agree on a lot of issues, um, I, I want to demonstrate that it's possible for people who have different partisan backgrounds to continue to offer some public service. And uh, so we'll be, uh, that's the same reason, one of the reasons that we also appointed uh, uh, Stephen Mandel, the former leader of the Alberta Party and former mayor of Edmonton, uh, to be a member of the Board of Alberta Health Services, which got oversees $20 billion in spending. Uh, and uh, you can expect uh, a few more appointments of this nature um, uh, to show uh, a spirit of cross-partisanship in those appointments. Premier, when you head, when you, I, it's unrelated, but I'd like to know when you plan to head to Texas, if you plan to meet with anyone in the Trump administration to ensure that uh, Keystone XL is unencumbered or perhaps even speeding up the timeline. Well, uh, I. I Probably not on the Texas trip, but at some point in the next few months, I do hope to get to Washington to meet to people of both uh, Capitol Hill and in the American administration on that issue. Um, and I also, also hope to be in Texas for the, the world's largest energy conference uh, in, uh, I believe it's April. And I would hope either there or in Washington to meet uh, with Energy Secretary Rick Perry on these issues. Now you can make of it what you will about Jason Kenney appointing such a high profile NDP minister to such a prominent position in the Credit Union Crown Corp. Is it positive bipartisanship or are the wounds still too deep and too raw from Notley's NDP government here in Alberta? Now, I also had a bit of a surprise opportunity to ask the former NDP minister, Darren Billis, a few questions about his take on the Alberta budget and whether or not he supports Jagmeet Singh. You might remember Darren Billis from our former coverage last year. You can go to darrenbillis.com to see the story we uncovered about his wife's allegations about a severe drug and alcohol addiction that he had while doling out billions of dollars of public money. Here's my questions to him. Mr. Billis, you're attacking this government on raising taxes. And while that premise, I'm not sure, is completely true, your government... Uh, your former government didn't run on a carbon tax yet implemented the largest tax increase in Albertan history. Is that not hypocritical at all? No. Uh, we talked about uh, a climate leadership plan that we ran on in uh, the 2015 election. What Mr. Kenny and the UCP did not run on is increasing user fees and taxes, which is what they've done. He can call it bracket creep. I, I you know, encourage everyone to look at when he was a federal uh, MP uh, under Harper, they criticized the former uh, Liberal government of that, of, uh, of removing the brackets. It is an increase on people's personal income taxes. It's not something that, uh, that he campaigned on, but it means that Albertans are going to pay more. And so you can't say in one breath, you're not going to raise taxes, and in the next breath say, well, that doesn't really count because, you know, it's bracket creep. Thank you so much for watching our coverage here in Edmonton, Alberta. If you enjoyed it, be sure to like and subscribe and click the notification bell right next to the subscribe button. Subscriptions don't mean all too much here on YouTube anymore. And if you click that notification bell, you'll be updated with our stories every time we post.